Please raise your right hand. A history-making moment in the United States in 2021. So help me God. As former Senator Kamala Harris became the nation's first female vice president. It is my honor to be here, to stand on the shoulders of those who came before. Harris is also the first black American and Indian American to serve in the nation's second highest job. She's broken so many glass ceilings for so many women. The daughter of an Indian mother and a Jamaican father, Harris was born in Oakland, California. A mural of her appears at the school she was bused to as a child, as part of racial integration efforts. A graduate of Howard University, Harris became the first female district attorney in San Francisco in 2004. And then in 2011, the first black woman to serve as California's attorney general. During her years as vice president, Harris has been vocal about the U.S. Supreme Court's overturning of Roe v. Wade, a 1973 decision that had made abortion legal nationwide. During his term, former President Donald Trump appointed three conservative justices to the high court. He proudly, he uses the word proudly, takes credit for overturning Roe. So make no mistake, if Trump gets the chance, he will sign a national abortion ban to outlaw abortion in every single state. The vice president also applauds continuation of the Affordable Care Act and the reduced price of insulin achieved by the Biden administration. Raise your hand if you have a family member with diabetes. Early on, she was tapped to lead the administration's efforts at the border. But the Biden campaign ended up on defense, with immigration a key issue in the 2024 election. Now undocumented spouses of American citizens who have been in the country for 10 or more years can stay in the country while they apply for a green card. Speaking to pro-immigrant groups like the Asian American, Native Hawaiian and Pacific Islanders, she quickly turns the focus to Donald Trump's words. That someone who vilifies immigrants who promotes xenophobia, someone who stokes hate, should never again have the chance to stand behind a microphone and the seal of the President of the United States. Harris has become more present at rallies like these on the campaign trail after President Joe Biden's stumbling performance in the June debate with former President Donald Trump. We beat Trump once and we're gonna beat him again, period. With President Biden's withdrawal from the race on Sunday, if Harris is nominated, she would again make history as the first black and Indian American woman to run for the nation's highest office. God bless you and God bless the United States of America. Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News.